Um, anyway, back to these two freaks, Kevin Swanson and Dave uh, Buhner. Uh, <laughs> these guys are conservative Christian radio hosts. And this is another thing they said on the same show. Now, remember, the goal is that these women, these family-destroying whores, have to be independent. Uh, And he also said that uh, on a show devoted to the idea that rising college costs were contributing to an alleged spike in prostitution. These guys are really freaks. Whores, prostitution. What is it you boys want, huh? Uh, They go on to say, quote, the goal is lots and lots of birth control. The goal is lots and lots of fornication. Oh, well, there you go. (laughs) Fornication. Oh, Oh, that is such a rip your pants off kind of word, isn't it, you two freaks? I mean, rip, rip your pants off, right? Fornication, really? The goal is abortion. The day after pill will help, and it will help a lot. Remember, the goal is to get that girl a job because she needs no stinking husband. She got the fascist corporation and government-mandated insurance programs and social welfare that will take care of her womb to tomb. Who needs a cotton-picking husband? Who needs... It's a family. That's pretty much the worldview that dom- that's dominating my friends. That's what the college is all about. Because her feminist professors have told her her husband will abuse her. She will be like a slave to him. Instead, she will just go to the slave market and sell herself, at least sell her body, to the highest bidder. See? That's much, much better. What? I mean, these are direct quotes. This is from rawstory.com. Kimberly sent it in. There's more. And Dave, you talk about the two kinds of feminists now. This is your new division. You say there's two kinds of feminists. All of them want to be free from the family. They want to be free from the husband. That's 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 uh, Swanson talking. And then this Buner freak adds, right, actually, you're talking about perhaps even a third stream of feminism. There's the Sarah Palin kind that wants to have a husband, and, but... Uh, Just not one to submit to. Uh, He mentioned something about the cute feminists. Oh, my God. And these people get airtime? What do you want to bet they're probably on like 50 or 60 stations? This is a sick-ass country. And to you two, you two freaks, Kevin Swanson and Dave Buhner, uh... Let me tell you something, and I know this to be true. I know this to be true because I was raised up a Baptist and a Methodist. Let me tell you, this is true, boys. If there were really were a Jesus H. Christ and a God, you too would be in really deep doo-doo because God the Father would reach down, pinch your heads off, kick them into hell where all the damned souls would play soccer with them. How do people listen to this stuff? How do you do this? How how do you do this? And like I said before the break, I never hear masses of Christians, uh, follower, let me rephrase it, followers of Jesus taking to the streets with signs, instead of signs that are condemning women because they want the privacy and the control over their own bodies. No, 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 no. Signs that condemn these butchers of their holy son of God. Condemning them. Why don't you do that? Why don't you, you real followers of Christ, why do you, why do you never respond? Why do you let these people speak for you? Why do you let them paint your religion as being something filthy and sick and insane and degenerate? Why? Hello? Hello? See, there's never an answer. Never. Never an answer. Well, truly, I say unto ye, it's your 